वेलकम आई एम रिश्रिका बरवा यूर वॉचिंग मी एज अ पार्ट ऑफ द एन डी टी वी बनेगा स्वस्थ इंडिया कैंपेन एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट वेल द फोर्थ सीरो सर्वे दैट्स बिन कंडक्टेड हियर इन इंडिया फर्स्ट स्टार्टर्स वॉट इज अ सीरो सर्वे अ सीरो सर्वे इज एसेंशियली कोविड नाइन्टीन टेस्ट दर आर कंडक्टेड दिस इज एंटीबॉडी टेस्ट दर आर कंडक्टेड ऑन अ रैंडम सैम्पल ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द जनरल लेवल ऑफ इम्यूनिटी दर आर पॉपुलेशन हैज अगेंस्ट कोविड सो इन दिस केस अबाउट थर्टी थाउजेंड मोर देन थर्टी थाउजेंड पीपल वर इन फैक्ट टेस्टेड एंड द सीरो सर्वे इज एक्सट्रीमली इम्पॉर्टेंट इट्स एन इम्पॉर्टेंट इंडिकेटर ऑफ जस्ट हाउ वाइड स्प्रेड द इन्फेक्शन इज बिन एंड हाउ मच ऑफ आर पॉपुलेशन एक्चुअली हैज सम डिग्री ऑफ प्रोटेक्शन अगेंस्ट कोविड नाइन्टीन सो देर आर फॉर सीरो सर्वे सर बिन कंडक्टेड सो फार एंड वी आर ऑफकोर्स गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन डिटेल वो द फोर्थ सीरो सर्वे हैज इन फैक्ट सेट द फोर्थ सीरो सर्वे सेज दैट अराउंड सिक्सटी सेवन परसेंट इंडियंस have developed antibodies to covid this is a combination now of vaccine induced antibodies and infection induced antibodies uh, remember in the previous zero survey it was largely infection induced antibodies that we were talking about but now that over 40 crore of our population has been vaccinated uh, this is a combination of vaccine induced antibodies as well as infection induced antibodies the the end result of both of those antibodies is the same it gives you a certain level of protection against covid now 67% of the population uh, has antibodies to covid is good news for india even though experts say that we're still far from any kind of herd immunity because the threshold for herd immunity has also changed uh, with the delta variant coming in now experts say that you need about 90% of your population uh, to have antibodies or to have some level of protection uh, against corona virus to actually even consider or talk about uh, herd immunity what we essentially know right now from this data is that two out of three indians have antibodies but one out of three indians doesn't and if you extrapolate that data that's around 40 crore indians who still do not have antibodies which means that 40 crore indians are still vulnerable susceptible to a severe covid disease come a third wave of infections so like i said the zero survey is extremely important for uh, the authorities to determine their future strategy it's extremely important to understand how the infection has proliferated in the country and uh, you know just to also put this in perspective the third zero survey was conducted between um, the end of december and the beginning of january uh, the fourth zero survey right now is conducted end of june beginning of july if you look at the data of the third zero survey which was conducted uh, between end of december beginning of january 21% of our population had antibodies now juxtapose that with a zero survey that was conducted towards the end of june beginning of july which says 67% of our population had antibodies now it's not rocket science to understand that the the two things differentiating uh, the these two zero surveys and the timing is that massive second wave of coronavirus that india saw so second wave obviously infected a lot more people uh, than was even anticipated or recorded because a lot of people remember get very mild or asymptomatic covid and therefore don't ever end up getting themselves tested or even uh, knowing that they've had covid so the revelations of uh, this uh, zero survey are important this is an important finding for the authorities to determine the future course of action but uh, having said that 40 crore indians are still vulnerable that means these people are still susceptible we need to ramp up our pace of vaccination uh, because remember at least 90% of the population needs to have immunity against covid for us to even be talking about herd immunity and um, the fact that one in three uh, people is still vulnerable experts say that covid appropriate behavior and ramping up vaccinations is key to delaying the onslaught of a potential uh, third wave so this of course is the findings uh, of the zero survey and what it means for the larger population but another interesting aspect of the zero survey that i want to talk about uh, is the fact that there were children above the age of 6 who participated in the zero survey in fact around 3000 children above the age of 6 participated in the zero survey and uh, well it it does go to show that even 67% of children above the age of 6 have developed some kind of antibodies these can't possibly be vaccine induced so it goes to show that a lot of kids have actually developed the covid-19 infection uh, but it's been a very mild or an asymptomatic infection in children but there is also a decent level of protection 
uh, in those above the age of six uh, when it comes to COVID-19. So this is what the revelations of the Ciro survey have essentially been. It goes to show that a certain uh, section of our population is indeed protected. Um, it also has many experts believing that there will be a third wave of COVID in India. Cases will begin to rise again, but it may not be as severe as the second wave. Given uh, the findings of the Ciro survey, given the fact that we are vaccinating, uh, we have vaccinated over 40 crore citizens of the country, even though that is still about 6.5% of our total population that's fully vaccinated against COVID. So, well, that's uh, uh, all I have for you in terms of the findings of the fourth zero survey, an extremely important indicator to understand the COVID-19 infection proliferation in the country and, of course, our degree of immunity and preparedness to fight future waves. Sincerely hope that this video has been useful.